I was here in 1969 when the Thoreau Liberation Front strike first began. We wanted something very immediate, you know, the Third World College. We formed coalitions with other Third World Peoples of Color organizations here at UC Berkeley. We questioned the admission system. We challenged the nature of education. And we wanted the community emphasis in our education. Just looking back, you know, I, I was a young person back then, but you know, I'm approaching 70. And I would say, I would say that for, for our generations, it, it's important uh, for us to um, um, relay our stories, you know, what we learned from the strike, um, how did that carry us uh, it, <clears throat> afterwards, and the, the relevance of the strike today. The impact and potential for the TWLF portal and archive can be monumental because from my experience in all the scholarship and research and classes I've engaged in, all of the histories I'm encountering have been extremely scattered and unrecorded. And so marginalized students and communities of color, we have an extremely difficult time finding scholarship or even evidence of our histories. And so this effort is to make those um, stories a bit more accessible to those of us so we don't have to all become professional researchers just to find these stories and to find these really valuable um, bits of, of not only information but methodologies and techniques and strategies.